we've been using electronics for well since we began in lots of different ways like the nature of electronics malfunctioning is always really good to uh, be aware of um, we use that a lot in our very early on when we started playing just because our equipment was <laughs> broken and, you know mm-hmm. you'd sort of like it would fuck up and stop and so you, you would just think oh what, what's going to happen next so it became very much that chance thing operating where you you kind of um you aren't sure of what's going to happen next because chance chance has a this kind of uh what is it, a multiplier effect and mm-hmm. things so you, you kind of like it'll, it'll occur and you, just, you, you get kind of like thrown by it <coughs> mm-hmm. but so so the electronics early on were very much the broken nature of our equipment the fact that we were using better pole two track analog tape machines to record on, amplifiers that didn't work properly and guitars that didn't work properly and things like that. But we it, we, we kind of use that in a way, I guess, with sort of like a punk rock aesthetic that we always have to our stuff, I guess. Mm-hmm. And um, I guess, and, and then I guess we moved like into, well I was using electronics when I was a lot younger and playing in another band and, and so I was kind of bringing that stuff that use of electronics into my music anyway. So it wasn't that like a difficult decision to make. Because we understood that it, that it was all just noise generating mm-hmm. noise generating stuff, so I guess that's what we were really after. Um the I mean now God we you know we use a lot of synthesizers and stuff as well. So mm. it's um yeah. I mean it's 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 still pretty good though. I mean the, the synths are a different instrument again. <coughs> I use a computer a lot now as well. So, mm-hmm. but the computer is just the ease of use thing. Like it's a tool, so different use like that. It's better than like that or a whole lot of tape loops, which uh, gets really hard to uh, be monitor what's going on and stuff. Um, I guess. Oh, what else? I mean, we we do a lot of uh, just like um, putting electronic noises like straight in over tracks sometimes. So we do mm-hmm. a lot of uh, a collage, I guess, of sound. So yeah, I guess we use, them, use them a lot. Still use them. Um, I don't see any point in. I mean, not using something that to create some kind of tone. Bruce has a lot of uh, machines that are just like purpose-built to generate tone. And you can adjust tones and stuff. So like tone generators. Uh, which re- are really nice, and we were using those early on too because of the synthesizers they were using. So, I mean, yeah. What kind of music got you into actually using synthesizers, though? I mean, was it like was it something where it's just like, oh, this is something I want to play with, or was mm. there other like reference points that you found in other music? Oh, well, definitely throbbing, to... throbbing Gristle, Cabaret Voltaire, um, I guess Joy Division as well, because there's a couple of tracks in Joy Division where they use a kind of like grungy kind of synth. Um, Peribu, uh, they were very influential. Um, band called English band This Heat. I know they This were, Heat. Yeah, very, very, very good. good. They're very, very good. Yeah. Um, so yeah, things like that were real um, starting points in terms of using electronic and sound and noise and stuff and, and the um, and, and, and the, like the nature of band, I guess. Yeah. A lot of bands do it, I guess. Don't they? It's hard to know. Obviously, uh, the Dead Sea uses improvisation as a major composition tool. Absolutely. It's, been, it's increased over time, I and mean, it was always an aspect of what we did, but as time has gone on, we've relied on it more and more, and we now don't really generally perform any kind of predetermined repertoire. Do you, you have to let go to oh, operate on this kind of level? Yeah, obviously, yeah. It's all about a kind of you know left hemisphere, right hemisphere kind of thing. And but I don't think, I mean, that's brain chemistry. I don't think it's necessarily mystical. You can express how you feel about it in mystical terms, but I don't personally, I'm a very kind of, a, I guess philosophically I'm a materialist and I'm not really too much into that kind of thing, but they're valid metaphors and they can describe the sensation of what we do as a, as a collective entity, certainly. Um, 
But no, I think more what personally what I do, it's about letting go of too much rational control and letting the kind of expressive side come out, you know, and that's a, it, yeah, I think it's a, it's a, it's a brain mm-hmm. thing. Mm-hmm. But it's also a physical thing because the performance is quite demanding and you have to get into the right frame, not only mind, but also just the right, you've got to let yourself go to a point where you can kind of get on semi-autopilot and just go with it. Uh, do you think uh, this being able to do this type of thing is this learned or is it more? Do you think you kind of have it already? Oh, I think we always had it, had it to a degree, but we've certainly refined it immensely over the years. I mean, that's what we do. That's I'm not a necessarily better, certainly not technically a better guitar player than I was, you know, ten years ago. But the in the empathy, the skill of the collective kind of creation thing is definitely better and gets better all the time. We'll go on getting better as long as we do it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Absolutely.